Hi viewers, I welcome you all to Technology Learning Space YouTube channel. In this video, you are going to watch a demonstration on how to fix a failed or degraded DAG in Exchange Server. This is a quick solution applicable in a situation where you lost your majority Quora members and you cannot bring it back in a short time. The same solution is applicable for Exchange Server 2010, 2013 and 2016. We are going to work on a 2 node plus 1 witness server, a complete working DAG in Exchange 2016. For demonstrating, I will shut down witness server and a mailbox server. In this case, DAG will dismount active database as it lost the majority core members. In this stage, you cannot simply mount a database from a degraded stage from admin center. All the users will be disconnected and this is one of the most wired situation for all system administrator. The immediate action is to bring up witness server and mailbox server to gain majority quorum status of DAG. What if uh, it is a hardware failure or uh, you cannot bring it back in a short time? The first step is to mount database and save time so you can users can continue working on it and you can parallelly troubleshoot to bring up other nodes. So let us see the steps comes in it. There is only three steps. First is to remove database copy from failed servers. So for example, if it is failed from mailbox server 2, you need to remove the database copy from mailbox server 2 and then remove failed member DAG configuration and then finally mount database. And you have to keep this point in mind. This video is suitable in a situation like you have some hardware failure or you need time to fix uh, failed DAG members because here we remove database copy and DAG configuration from mail nodes. So once uh, you fix this failed nodes you need to add it as a DAG member again and then you have to add database copy also so this is not a solution or simply just uh, you lost uh, your uh, DAG for five minutes or two minutes this is not a solution for that this is a solution if you have some hard failures or you need time to fix the failed members in a degraded DAG so let us watch the demonstration uh, following other machines uh, like exchange server 1, 2 and file witness server then a domain controller. So here in the admin center you can see I have one database db1 with two copies in ex1 and ex2. Database, database uh, availability group DAG01 with uh, one file witness server FW. Here uh, both the copies are healthy, you can see it is mounted uh, in EX2 and uh, the passive copy is healthy, both the content index uh, state are healthy. So this is a complete uh, complete healthy uh, nodes. I'm just uh, switching my database from uh, EX2 to EX1. You can see during this process the outlook just disconnected and the connection will come back now. The same way I can I will I'm going to switch back to ex2 So all this confirm that uh, this uh, database availability group is completely operational. I am able to switch over from EX1 to EX2 and also EX2 to EX1. So now uh, in order to degrade, uh, uh, in order to simulate a failed DAG, I'm going to shut down one exchange server and also one uh, witness server. So 
so as we lost uh, two members file witness server and the exchange server one uh, the DAG will automatically uh, dismount the database because the majority core members failed so at this stage all users will be disconnected uh, from exchange server and this is the worst situation that you may meet And in admin center you can see that uh, the database copy is uh, active dismounted in exchange server 2 and uh, passive service down this means that the ex2 is uh, not reachable or it's down so you can try to mount this uh, from here you can see it failed because you cannot mount uh, when the DAG is degraded um, so you either you have to bring up the DAG members or you need to remove this uh, database and uh, this machine from database availability group so that is what we are going to do now the first step is to remove the database copy from failed servers So I'm going to remove the database copy that is available in EX1. The command has executed uh, successfully so the next step is to remove the configuration DAG member configuration from the failed node so in this step uh, we are going to remove the DAG configuration from mailbox server ex1 You have to run the same command for the exchange server that you are uh, planning to mount this database. So here I am going to run the same command for mailbox server ex1 also. Sorry ex2 also. So we finished two steps. Now you can mount the failed database easily. can see it has mounted very easily and successfully and now we will check the user's account if it is connected or not I'm trying to log in with uh, my account and see the inbox is uh, I can access the inbox so that is all about this video. Thanks for watching this video. For more videos, visit niasitpro.com or subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.